much for watching. Today I'm gonna clean out my fridge. I barely have groceries in the fridge and I thought, oh my gosh, today is the perfect day to clean it out because when you barely have groceries, that's when you don't feel bad about like kind of leaving some of your groceries out to clean your fridge. So let's go ahead and get started, friends. The first step, I don't know about you guys, but I always have to have my hair out of my face. Like I cannot do any type of cleaning with my hair down. Like. It's tough for me. I like want it all out of my face and I can really focus. So I've just got that little rubber band and we're good to go. All right, friends, this is my fridge. It is a hot mess dot com dot org dot net dot everything. <laughs> I just am a mess when it comes to my fridge. The thing is, everything looks clean outside of my house, but when you start opening, cabinets, fridge, drawers, that's when you know I'm like a hidden hotmess.com person, okay? <laughs> so this is what the fridge is looking like. I've got a pot of baked potato soup. I never put it in Tupperware because it was just a lot of soup that could not fit in any Tupperware. These drawers need to get organized. I've just got like salad and cheese in the same container. I've got like hard boiled eggs here. Um, so my goal is to deep clean everything, remove everything, um, declutter, organize the fridge. Okay, so this is my freezer. I do not plan to do anything with it because I actually organized it the other day. I know it doesn't look organized, but this is my chaos of organization. So the first step is to remove those drawers. And then after that, I'm gonna just look through everything and try to declutter, throw out some expired sauces if I have any expired sauces and also wipe everything down because sometimes things get sticky like maple syrup. So here I am removing everything from those drawers and I like that it's removable and it's washable. And so I'm just stacking that over there in, on top of the oven. Don't worry, it's not on or anything like that. I'm just trying to make space. And so here I put that towards the sink and I'm about ready to wash that down. I'm just using um, dish soap and a sponge to wash those drawers up. So that takes a little bit of time. So that's what's gonna take some time doing. So while we're washing, tell me about your day. What are you guys up to? Did you guys have any New Year's resolutions? And if so, did you keep up with it? I know it's already February, so let me know if you guys you know, kept up with your goals. You know, my goal was just to eat ice cream, I think. <laughs> I am working on that goal and I am thriving with that goal. Shoot, I need a goal that I can stick to and I can surely stick to eating ice cream. Okay, so here I am wiping down those drawers and then I am organizing by placing the applesauce in there. We also have applesauce in like certain cabinets and things like that. Um, but there we go, the little yogurts and the applesauce. I actually move everything around later, but I'm wiping down the inside of the door. Just thoroughly wiping it down and I use a little bit of that Method Lime Spray. I really like that spray. It's like my all-purpose spray. I use it for everything. And then here I'm just putting like barbecue sauce, sriracha ketchup, Jufran, all of my friends who like that Banana ketchup, let me know. It's totally an Asian thing, I think, because I, I love banana ketchup with tortang talong and lumpia. And so here, the first drawer, I took everything off and here I am washing it again. You guys, after washing it and wiping it down, my fridge looked brand new. Like I just bought it at the store and I just put my brand new groceries in it. It was shining. I need to do this maybe a a couple every couple of months because it made a huge difference and then of course you got to wipe down the inside because you get like little crumbs and everything around there so that's what i'm doing and then you're just gonna put that back and then just continue the whole process and those little um bags you see the little brown paper bags they're hello fresh i like hello fresh and then i always use baking soda in the fridge because it deodorizes um, any odors in your fridge. I've always done that and my mom was always doing that too growing up So that's where I learned it from from my mama and Then over there. I'm just continuing the process washing it again There are certain ones that have like dried up maple syrup that took forever And then here I'm finally putting my baked potato soup in a Tupperware 
and then I'm just removing those little dull fruit snacks and putting that instead of just keeping it in the container I just removed it from the packaging and then this little snack like drawer man it was a hot mess it's like my cheese and meat drawer I had to check because some of the cheeses were expired turning green and moldy like the mozzarella shredded cheese that I have definitely something that I needed to look through um, and I feel very ashamed that it took me so long to do this but I think one of my goals was to just be a little bit more organized in the new year because like I'm a you know I'm a hidden mess <laughs> so I think that you know I'm gonna stick to this goal because I really like it and I think watching that whole Marie Kondo Netflix series really inspired me to get my life together I do not plan to fold like her the her folding method it, it just doesn't work for for our household like it doesn't but everything else I like the idea for having a place for everything so I have a place for my baby bell cheeses and my string cheese and those little snack packs that I bought and my oh snap pickles because I love my pickles so much so this little fresh paper we found on Amazon it was on I think Shark Tank Sharon Justin's mom told us about it it keeps your fruit um, fresh longer so you just put it in every drawer or every section of the fridge that you want to like freshen up and so that's what we did I'll link it below if you guys are interested um, so there I am wiping down all the little crumbs and things with my microfiber cloth and my lime spray it is shining so beautifully and all the little containers you guys see I bought that at the container store before I even organized the fridge because I had just planned to do this already and so this is what my drawers are looking like I'm so proud it's so clean and so neat and now I'm so excited to go grocery shopping and get some groceries and then that's what the other drawers are looking like I love that the applesauce it's eye level for my boys I'm done you guys and I even got a stain you know you really really went down and clean when you get stains <laughs> It's a grape stain because I was like snacking on grapes in the middle of it all. And so this is the little spray that I use. This is a lime and sea salt spray. It's cut, it cuts grease and grime, which I kind of needed for certain parts of the inside of the fridge. And then it's also non-toxic. So this is what I use. I use a bunch of microfiber towels. Like, let me actually show you guys. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I changed a lot of my towels just because it, it took a while to dry the like big buckets in the fridge and then for dish soap I just use method dish soap in sweet water um, but that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for cleaning the fridge with me I am ready to stock my fridge up with groceries we barely have anything in the fridge but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you like any of my cleaning videos if you like this one give it a thumbs up subscribe I'll also put a playlist of my other cleaning videos down below and I'll see you next time bye